So your name ties you back again with another video. In today's video, we will be doing a reaction video to The Flash season nine episode, We Don't Care No More. Let's click, yay. We are two badass, smart. Oh, I was about to say, why is it not playing? I loved this, okay? Did I love the episode? Not really, because I'm like, we're on episode like 157 and we have not gotten anywhere. Like they're all fillers. Oh, this part was so cute. Look at his face, look at his face. <laughs> I wanna take it back, can we take it back a little bit? I just wanna take it back a little bit. That was just so cute when he did that. Look at his face. He looked like a little kid. I don't really care about much else. Um, I just feel like we should be way far along in whatever this storyline is like 13 episodes 13 13 13 13 and we have gotten nowhere oh my god brandon is so cute i'll be forgetting brandon is fine because he always be around them white women <laughs> iris is cute i like the hair how did barry get a job here that's because he looked like he don't know what he doing Okay. Girl, is she checking him out? Wait a minute. You ain't gonna just get back past that. Wait a minute. Was she, work? Was she checking him out a little bit? Let's do a play by play. Girl, look at her face. Girl, was you checking him out a little bit? You was getting a little bit too happy. <laughs> is her name Nia? Correct me in the comments below. I think her name is Nia. Is it Nia? I don't know why I want to call this girl Nia. That's probably not her name. But that girl is like, girl, like, snap out of it. This is a dream. This is not real life. And I feel like if this was a real storyline, meaning like we build up to it, I felt like they should have let Iris be like, you know what? I kind of want to live here. Because you remember like back in season three, episode 21, where Iris wanted to, uh, where Iris didn't want to give Barry his memories back because she was like, he's so light, he's so happy, you know, and he could still be the Flash and everything. Remember that? Why can't they do that here? Like have a little conflict like, have a little conflict between Nia and Iris. Like, well, I want to stay here, girl. It's it's amazing here. Da, 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 da. And then, come to find out at the end of the episode, Nia got black ancestors. <laughs> I was like, not this girl having black ancestors, girl. Like, it was a whole black woman under that mask. Under that hood. A whole black woman. And it's kind of like... I just don't know where we're going with this. I feel like Eric is just writing random episodes and, and like trying to piece them together at the end. It just makes no sense. Like literally last week, it was an episode about what? No, there was no episode last, last week. The week before, it was an episode about, I, I can't even remember because there's no storyline. I can't remember what the episode was about two weeks ago because there's no cohesive storyline like he's just literally throwing stuff at the wall I, I really oh so she's pregnant here too I, I would love it too yeah Nia is so sick of it <laughs> Mia is so sick of her girl. Like, she like, girl, this is a nightmare. She's like, it's my dream. And it's like, I get it. They want to give Iris conflict, but the conflict makes absolutely no sense. Like, we already dealt with the mother thing back in season five. And we even dealt with it. Did, wait, when did we? We dealt with the mother thing. Iris being a mother in season two and five. We dealt with Iris being a journalist, wanting to be a journalist in season four. And so it's like, why are we keep bringing up the same conflict? We already resolved this in past seasons. So he just making up shit just to make it up. Like, I hate this season. I really do. I hate this season. I hate this version of West Allen. I hate everything. And when I say I hate this version of West Allen, I'm not saying they don't have cute moments because they do. Episode one was amazing. In terms of West Allen. Storyline wise I was like confused. And it was. It, it, it came to nothing in the end. So. I'm not saying that West Allen doesn't have. Cute moments. I'm saying that. 
it's not the West Allen that I fell in love with back in season one, two, three, and four. I don't know who these motherfuckers are. Right? Right. It's just, I don't get it. Like, if 411 is not on screen, he don't care about the storyline. They should have let Iris stay there, girl. This was a very cute scene. Um, I give it a good 7 out of 10. I give the episode a good 6.5 out of 10. Would not recommend. And the reason why, not saying that the episode wasn't, you know, good for Iris. Not saying that the episode wasn't cute. I'm just saying that... What was the storyline? Like, where does this go? And, and, and where where are we going? Like, are we going on a trip in a big bag and ship? Like, where are we going? Like, I'm confused. This is why the episode wasn't good to me. I mean, it was decent. But I'm confused in terms of storyline. And then at the end, they're going to have clear... Over here talking to Mark and basically breaking up with Mark after Mark then had a wet dream about this heifer trying to ride his d So he tried to have a little relationship with her. And then at the bar, they started arguing and everybody started chiming in. I'm like, oh, I bet these extras is tired because I know that scene lasted about five hours. Anyway... And then they going to have Mark come to the West the West house. And I'm like, when is, is, is Cecile going to leave so Barry and Iris can buy that house? Anyway, and, and basically Cleo Blake breaks up with him. And basically Cleo breaks up with him or whatever. And then she come back into the house all sad and shit. And then now her ice powers work. And I'm like, girl, what's the point? There's no more episodes. What's the point? This is the last season. What is the purpose of, like... I'm, I'm, I, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and out.